What's what's up, everybody? What's going on? Um, hope we all had a good day yesterday. A um, couple of mishaps for me. A uh, couple one one uh, injuries and the hook. It's just you know it is what it is. Um, we got six games today. Uh, not a lot of lines out for some. Some lines out for most. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, make sure. You know, you're following uh, at Fantasy, not at Fantasy Labs, um, at under, Underdog underscore NBA on Twitter. And uh, make sure you have the notifications on uh, for them for every time they tweet because uh, it's major. Injury injury news, I was at work yesterday, and the injury news just kept piling in, piling in. Had made it a little hard for me, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Uh, yeah, so... Right off the bat, we got Phoenix at Orlando Magics here. Um, these teams just played uh, a few few games ago. 221 over under in this one. Uh, Phoenix Suns favored by five and a half. Uh, Phoenix Suns did bust them up. Uh, so, you know, I think they beat them for, for uh, by 20 or more. Uh, over under 221 in this one, man. Uh, no Booker, no um, Chris Paul. I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, injury report, of course, uh, Jalen Suggs is questionable here. Uh, you know, um, you know, uh, Marco folks, folks has been, you know, sneaking around getting minutes. So that's something to watch out here. Uh, some of my favorite players hit from here is going to be, uh, uh, Wendell Carter, he's not on the injury report. He did give these guys a double, double last time they played. Um, I'm not. You know, I want to see what this uh, line is going to be. They only have uh, eight and out right now and uh, Bridges. Uh, I do want to see what this line is going to be like, though. Uh, you know, hopefully I get some, we get some relief on it. Uh, and maybe I can get a double-double for a decent amount of money. But uh, a, a, a decent odds. But double-double is in play for Wendell Carter. Uh, rebounds are as well. He's had a double-double in 10 of his last 15 games. Uh, eight rebounds are better than... 15 straight. So uh, that'll give you a little insight there. Um, the three ball is in play for Phoenix Suns. Um, Aiden, uh, he's had what? Uh, Aiden's had, uh, 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 what? Uh, what, is, what is his point proposition? 18 and a half. So he's had 18 points or better in um, five out of his last eight games five out of his last seven games i want to say eight that's 18 points or better okay so uh you know he's he's in an okay spot here uh if you want to get to him uh i would i would imagine so uh you know i don't think i'll be betting that but uh it's definitely doable okay uh, he has 17 and 10 against this team so his rebound probably is sitting at uh 10 and a half You'll get a double double for him without the win at about minus one forty, I believe. That's the last time I checked. Uh, minus one fifty. Uh, so you know, I don't know. It, that, that that don't seem so bad. A player performance doubles a, a, a double double to win at plus one forty six for him. Uh, barring any foul trouble, it's a strong possibility he can get there. Uh, but you know, out of, out of what we had, I did put something together. Uh, I didn't really bet it yet, but I did go with the, uh, what did I do? Uh, I think I got it at a plus 104, uh, minus one, 104, I want to say. Uh, I got a 15 points there for Aiton, uh, eight rebounds right there for uh, Aiton. And then I think I went to something like a two assists for uh, uh, Bridges. Yeah, and then uh, that was a plus 101, okay? Yeah, and then, you know, if you want to go with two assists, you can go with a three-pointer or something like that from uh, Bridges. Uh, you know, you can still get, uh, oh, that was the minus 106. I think that's what I did right there. And then, you know, you can add a uh, two assists if you want, uh, just if you want to be fucking around right now. But, you know, that's just a little something that I was looking at. But uh, I, 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 um, I, I'm just really waiting on the... Uh, 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 the rebound prop for um, Wendell Carter. I really want to uh, jump on that. And then, you know, 
I, I do want to take a look at the uh, assist prop too for Payne. Uh, I'd imagine that's going to be really, really juiced up. But uh, when uh, you know the Phoenix Suns, the usual suspects for three, those guys are in play. All right. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, Phoenix Suns. Uh, uh, I slightly lean towards the Phoenix Suns in this one. Uh, the total. I mean, two twenty-one. It could go over. It, this one could go over. Uh, we'll see, though. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Uh, it, I, you know, I was probably have a slight lean towards the over in this one, but nothing official. Uh, and then, I, I, you know, I haven't picked Phoenix Suns. I, you know, if you had a gun to my head, I would have to choose Phoenix Suns, but I'm not giving that pick out. I might throw it on a money line parlay or something like that, but, you know, I'm not giving that pick out. Uh Brooklyn Nets at Charlotte Hornets here. We got 239 over under. It's been going over 241, 240, 239, whatever the case may be with that, okay? Uh, yeah, so uh, we got uh, some points to be scored here, all right? So uh, both everything is trending over for both of these teams here. I mean, uh, the over is 5-1-1 one, one in the Nets' last seven road games. Uh, the over is 5-1-1 in the next last seven games. Final ATS loss, all right? So the over is trending pretty, pretty hard. Uh, you know, and then on the Brooklyn side, I mean, on the uh, Charlotte's, excuse me, on the, on the Charlotte side, uh, surprisingly, like, uh, the under is 7-1 in um, Portis' last eight games as the whole dog. is a home underdog. And then the under is 4-0 in the Hornets' last four uh after allowing 100 points or more in their previous game, okay? But between these two teams, the under is 4-1 in, in, in the last five meetings in Charlotte, and the under is 4-1 in the last five meetings overall. But the next, they are 10-3 against the spread in the last 13 meetings there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, do it as you will. Uh, this is a high total. It definitely can. This def this game definitely can go over, but I, I just don't. I don't know. Um, you know the Brooklyn. You know Brooklyn can put the ball in the rack. Uh, I don't see any too too many defensive threats over there for Brooklyn. You know, so we we will see. All right, now um, I've locked in um, that twenty points. I had to jump on it. It, uh, I had to jump on that 20 and a half for uh, Terry Rozier. So, uh, you know, I, I, you know, it's a, it's definitely official. I drop, I drop, I drop some on it. So it is what it is. Uh, we know he can get there uh, from the three ball or whatever the case may be. Uh, so, you know, the threes are in play for everybody on this board right here. So that's something that I don't have to get to. You are, you already know it's a three point shooting league here. Uh, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Both of these guys, they're they're good spots, man. They're good spots, you know. Um, for the uh, like uh, yeah. So look, I mean, uh, plays that you know, of course, you know, twenty, twenty five, uh, twenty. Uh, probably don't bet it, but you know, uh, these are some plays that I don't mind getting to in that pool. There, you know, uh, fifteen, fifteen, and fifteen for Terry. You know what I'm saying? You know, this game could end up shaping out like that, you know? Uh, so uh, those are some uh, – the points that I don't mind getting to a same game parlays for these guys, you know? So, you know, uh, that they have that. Um, interesting thing to point out here. Uh, let's fast forward to assist props here. Um, I, I do – I did, I did, I did bet this, uh, but I, I put this in on prize picks, the five and a half for Kyrie Irving. Uh, I, I have some interest there. I have some interest there. You know, he's just going to be out there. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when it all said done, he's a, he's, he's a point guard. Uh, he has hit this. He's hit this assist prop last game. I think he's hit it two, two of his last four games too. So, you know, that's something to um, – Look at look at even if you want to uh, go down because look his assist has been six five five six eleven six you know so um uh four could be added to the uh, prayer pool right around where Terry Rozier 
and um, Kevin Durant. You know, those guys, they've been meddling around that uh, around that um, area. And, you know, you can get that for 103, but, you know, that goes into the pool as well. And then honorable mention here is uh, Miles Bridges. You know what I'm saying? I've been scared. I jumped on it a few times. I've been scared, but I've been jumped on it a few times. Every time I jump on it, you know, uh, that one time I jumped on it, uh, I hit, and then I, he came right back with a zero against Milwaukee. I was salty as hell, but, you know, his last four, uh, five, game, four five games, he's hit it. He's had six assists, six and six, zero, five and seven. So I was really, really sick when he hit that zero. But, uh, you know, assist, you know, I'm just, you know, pointing that out. You know, he's been, he's been, he's been, he's been hitting that, man. Then when the alternates come out, you can jump down on him. You know, you can probably go down to a three or something, you know. And then, uh. You know, rebounds, man, rebounds. So, 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 so these are the most high usage players. They're going to be out there, you know, uh, they're going to be out there. And uh, the same guys that are in play for the assists, the same guys in play for the rebounds, you know, for the, you know, for, 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 for a low number, man. It is what it is. Uh, I like this game for same game parlays, man. Uh, how could you not? It's probably one of the best games on the board. Uh, uh, you know, barring any foul trouble, I can see a lot of players get there. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the rebounds, I mean, the three props are looking pretty uh, standard-ish. You know, everybody's in plus money except for Miles Bridges. Uh, you know you know what the drill is. You know the, the standard numbers here with the twos and the two and the two. I mean, it, it's just self-explanatory, man. But, you know, of course, they got to go out there and perform. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so it's a lot of upside between these players, man. Uh, Kevin Durant, man, um, this might be a beginning of something. I mean, so how many games he's been back for? Two, only two. Okay, only two. He's hit two threes or better at each one. I mean, he hit two threes and nine threes, so uh, and four threes. I'm sorry. So, uh, you know, this might be a beginning, man. If he start cracking up, cranking up a lot of threes, man, you know, because I remember him, he was just hitting two, 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 two. You know what I'm saying? Damn, but you know the Brooklyn Nets, no, they on the road, man. Man, they on the road. They need to win, man. You know, Charlotte Hornets do too, man. So, you know, I don't know, man. There, there, there will be no Aldridge in this game. I would love to see um, Drummond get more minutes. He's not. They're not giving him the minutes, man. You know, because I would love to, you know, steal a double-double out of him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's played minutes in the area of 17, 20, 16, 29, 20, 19. I mean, man, I need 25 minutes out of drumming, man. But, hey, you know, he's had – we'll have to see, man. Uh, we'll have to see. I can't – I don't know, man. I probably would have to lean towards Brooklyn in this one, man. Nothing official, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers at Indiana Pacers, 223 over under in this one. Uh, Cleveland favored by three on the road. Uh, we know that uh, Karis LeVert is out as of now, and then um, Jared Allen is out indefinitely. Um, so Chris Duarte is questionable. Rondo is questionable. Stevenson is questionable, along with Goga Batanze is questionable. Uh, now, um, I don't know how they're gonna fill that void for uh for uh Jared Allen. Um he you know what they like to do, they like to, you know, when Jared Allen is out, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they go to somebody like Ed Davis and start him or maybe uh Dean Wade, okay? So the one of those two guys are probably gonna get the start. So they can, you know, they can probably uh you know, stick with the same offense or whatever, the same type of offense or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Keep it mobile at that four, slide them over to the slide mobile over to the five, you know, in in the game situations. You know what I'm saying? They'll probably try to keep their rotation uh, going the same exact way. So that's what I I'd how I'd imagine. Of course, um uh Garris Garland, you know, you know, his his um you know the report with uh Allen was pretty, 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 pretty good. All right. Now, uh, a little bit about this game. Um, um, Indiana, you know, Indiana has been, you know, Indiana has been trending 
has been trilling over, okay? So, you know, the over is 6-1. It, 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 you know, the Pacers' last seven games as an underdog. The over is 6-1 in the last seven games. I'm playing on one day's rest. Five, the over is just over, man. You know, the over is over, man. It's been over. <laughs> so, you know, with 223 total here, um, mm, interesting. Now, Cleveland, uh, the over is 61 in Cleveland last seven games as a road favorite. Um, the the uh the over is five zero and one in Cleveland last six road game versus a team with a losing record. I I don't I don't know what to I don't know what to you know I don't know how to approach this one here. You know between these two teams, uh you know you know the two, uh, one stat that you know trend that point that stands out to me was uh you know the you know the under is nine and two. In the last eleven games between these two teams, you know, in but in Indiana, uh, I want to. I really want to know if Goga Batase goes or whatever the case may be, because Cleveland is they're going to be big no matter what. Now, as far as Indiana, uh, we don't have props out right now, so oh, we do have props out. Oh yeah, yeah, these been out right here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Indiana, you know they got they got some they got some decent uh, three point shooters over there right now. So, and these teams just played uh, a few games ago, and they got off in the three point area, and you know rightfully so. You, you know teams with good three point shooters do tend to hit them a little bit more often on Cleveland because you know uh, Cleveland, you know they de they defend the paint pretty well, and you got to shoot them. You got to shoot them. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know. Like last game, there was no Garland though, but the score was uh it did go over. It was one twenty to one, uh thirteen, and uh, uh the three points, you know, um, Buddy Hill hit four threes, uh, Brissett hit three, Halliburton hit four, Duarte hit four, Smith even hit two. You know, uh, granted, uh, Cleveland still pulled it out, but you know that's you know good three point teams do uh tend to uh, stroke it, all right, uh. Indiana has been getting beat up on the boards. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's one thing that, uh, you know, Cleveland has working for them. Um, Jared Allen gave them voice 14 boards. And, uh, yeah, so. But uh, overall, you know, um, I still think Cleveland, Cleveland might, you know, be able to pull this one out. Um, I'm gonna have some interest in that uh, four. The spread is four. Let me see. Yeah, the spread is uh, three now. Mm. It was four, so I'm probably gonna have some interest in that. Uh, Darius Garland assist prop is sitting at eight and a half. Uh, I'll, a double double is not out of the realm of possibility for him, for him. Uh, so uh, you know I mean, he's somebody who got a really real uh, 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 high upside on his assist prop. And if you want to go up there to 10, you know, you can get it at plus 126. Uh, there's no Allen. You know, you know he does drop a decent amount of dams off to Allen. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I have interest in uh, Darius Garland's three-point prop along with his point prop. Uh, so, uh, even if you do feel like you want to uh, lag off of his assist prop, and, you know, without uh, Jared, uh, Jared Allen, you might think he might have to uh, score a few more buckets. And, you know, rightfully so, uh, don't mind getting to 23 and a half. We know, you know, we know he has that upside. You know what I'm saying? It's probably because for me, it's going to be the points or the assists. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? Game parlays, I don't mind getting to that. Getting to that 20. Uh, Evan Mobley should see a, a bump in usage here. So, I, I don't know, man. Uh, I I don't really bet his points too much, man. You know, he he will go out there and give you 15, 20 here and there. And then, you know, sometimes he gets iffy in the rebounds category too. You know what I'm saying? They got his rebound sitting up at 10 and a half. Uh, as bad as I want to go there, I'm not, though, you know. So uh, those are the few things that are, uh, you know, in my wheelhouse there, you know, that I don't mind getting to. Marketing can pop that three too, but I, I ain't going to showcase him, though. Uh, you know, so those are a few ways. What is it, sis? Uh, even if I go down to an eight assist prop for Garland, you know, uh, you know, I, I'll have to take some stabs at that. Yeah. 
So uh, those are a few plays. It's the Garland show right as of right now. But I'm actually I'm just waiting for the Indiana Pacers uh, uh to come out here. Um, slight lean towards Cleveland in this one. <clears throat> Player performance doubles are in play too. Yep, like a double double or something like that. You know. <clears throat> New Orleans Pelicans at uh, Memphis Grizzlies here at 231 and a half over under. The total is moving up. It just went up one. Uh, it was, it went up one and a half, I believe. I think it was 230 earlier. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies are five and a half point favorites at home. Uh, these teams did just play. There was no John Morant in their last game. And uh, Memphis still pulled it out. So that's something to uh, look at there. All right. Um, do we have what do we have here? Okay, no injuries here. Um and uh right off the bat, uh things have been, you know, things have been trending well. Pelicans on the road, okay? So Pelicans are eight and one against the spread in their last nine games, last nine road games, okay? So we got a five and a half point spread. They eight and one. They've been on fire against the spread uh, on the road. Um, the Pelicans are six and one. You know, in their last seven games as a road against uh, the spread in their last seven games as a road underdog as well. All right. Um. So you know <clears throat> they've been really uh, covering you know on the road. Meanwhile, excuse me. Meanwhile, uh, the under you know lately. It's five and zero oh for Memphis. You know when they are favorites. You know what I'm saying. So uh, that's something right there because uh, New Orleans. You know they've been playing some good defense too. That could contribute to the uh, under. Um, <clears throat> um, what I was gonna say. Uh, this total they went under this total on February 15th last time they played. But granted, there was no John Morant. Um. The Grizzlies, they 7-1 against the spread in their last eight games following a straight-up L. And, uh, yeah, the Memphis Grizzlies, uh, let's see. The Memphis Grizzlies, uh, let me see, hold on, my fault. Yeah, so uh, they last 10, uh, the, the Memphis Grizzlies are 6-4 in their last 10. You know, they just lost to uh, Houston, you know, so they'll be looking to bounce back, yeah? They lost to Boston, they lost to Minnesota, and they took an L to Portland. You know, uh, prior to that, uh, yeah, so um, me, on, on the other hand, New Orleans, they, uh, you know, they are 5-5 five five in their last 10. So, you know, they, 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 they need to win. They need to win, you know what I'm saying, New Orleans? Uh, you know, they're just coming off a hard loss against Denver here. I have some interest in that spread though. Uh that five and a half leaning towards uh 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 um um New Orleans Pelicans. Uh nothing official though, but you know, uh that's one of the teams that I like to bet on. Uh points wise, I caught that twenty two and a half for uh uh for uh CJ McCollum. So uh that's uh, an official play for me. I think I got that uh, minus one ten though, okay? Uh like I said, uh, I don't know why we don't have uh, Jonas Valanciunas uh, rebound line out or his points or, or rebound line out. So that's something to uh, keep in mind there. Um, plays that I don't mind getting to, though, I mean, you know, uh, especially for uh, the Pelicans, uh, Brandon Ingram and C.J. McCollum at 20 points is not out of the realm of possibilities. Uh, those are the guys that don't have that have to do the uh, heavy lifting there. Um, I rarely go up to high points, but if you like John Moran points, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not betting it. Even if it's 25, I'm probably still not going to that 25. But it deserves an honorable mention to be thrown in the pool. So that's something there. Um, the rebound prop here, like I say, um, um, they don't have uh, Valanciunas out. I don't see a, a pathway for Valanciunas to get in foul trouble. Neither do I see a pathway for uh, Stephen Adams to get in foul trouble. Uh, eight rebounds for uh, Stephen Adams. You'll get it at a minus 400. I'm not scared to throw that in the pool. Um, assist props here. Um, uh, Brandon Ingram has been ultra consistent, you know, the last five, six games. So I don't mind getting there. Uh, 
CJ McCollum, I don't mind getting there, but you know, I probably won't bet it uh, for the sake of you know uh, this player pool. I mean, uh, I could toss him uh, in there for four though. And uh, Ingram, you know, I, his is pretty juiced up, but he's just been assisting with that too. And then the three points here, um, Desmond Bain has been hitting them lately, and I just somehow fell off the damn train. You know, uh, I have been chasing his ass, but two is not out of the realm of possibility along with uh, C.J. McCollum, and then, you know, we can ladder. Uh, we can ladder them both if you're really, really feeling it, but... You know, so those are some of the plays that can go in there. Official play, I've already jumped on the 22 and a half for uh, CJ McCollum. Let's see, I'll, we'll see what's going to happen with that there. All right. I might sprinkle a little something on a, a player performance double, maybe a six assists and a win for uh, for uh, New Orleans Pelicans, you know, but it, that'll just be a, 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 a play that's, you know, something I'm not giving out no play. I'm not giving that out. That just might be something because I like them. You know what I'm saying? They, I, let me go ahead and get my head pushed back on that shit. <laughs> Yeah, but I do have interest in that uh, uh, in that spread there, uh, leaning towards New Orleans, Milwaukee Bucks at New uh, Oklahoma City Thunder here. Uh, first time these two teams playing, uh, two thirty one over under in this one, uh, a thirteen point spread. Uh, like I said, it's the first time these two teams playing. Um, Oklahoma City Thunder is decimated with uh, injuries. Both of these teams have been going over lately, and uh, uh, let me see. Um, last going back to last year, they played three times, I believe, two or three times, and uh, uh, I think Oklahoma City they covered both or one, and they won one. So you know, uh, uh, Oklahoma City is one of the best teams covering. They are, well, they they evening out now. They thirty three or thirty two. No, I'm sorry. Um, against the spread, they thirty eight and twenty two against the spread. So on the season, so that's you know that's okay there. Um, last uh, between these two teams here, yeah, uh, they played three times last year, and OKC won one. It went under twice. It went over once. Uh, those under games were ninety six to eighty nine, ninety eight to eighty five, and it went over one fourteen and one hundred nine. OKC won that over game. Okay. Uh, we don't have props out for this one. Um, Milwaukee Bucks, you know, uh, I mean, I just can't trust these big spreads in the NBA. Uh, you know, I do like Milwaukee to win, but I just can't trust these big spreads in the NBA. We don't have any any props out for this one, so, you know, I'll keep it moving. Last game on the docket here, we have Los Angeles Clippers at Golden State Warriors. Uh, 223 over under in this one. Uh, Golden State Warriors favored by five and a half. Um, you know, all the starters just set out last game. We don't have props out for this game. Um, these two teams just played recently, and uh, the LA Clippers pulled it out, man. You know, uh, now the under is five and on the Clippers' last five road games, okay? Um, the under is four and one in Clippers' last five games overall. Um, the Clippers are four and zero against the spread in their last four games as an underdog. Now, uh, the Clippers, you know, they play in their last ten, they last five games. They went, they played New York, L.A., Houston twice, and the Lakers. Okay, so I guess you know the under. Mm, it is what it is. Anyway, um, this is the fourth meeting between the two. Um, Golden State won two, and Los Angeles Clippers won one. Um, on, on the Golden State side, you know, the over is, you know, 4-0 in their last four games. They haven't been playing great bet. They haven't been playing good basketball at all. Um, the over is 4-0 in their last four games. Four, four home games versus a team with a losing record. Uh, it's just everything is trending over right now for uh, Golden State. When I looked at this score earlier, I, I thought over. You know, as night, I thought over when I looked at the score. But, I mean, I mean at this total, and but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. 
I, I still probably lean towards the over. I don't know. But, you know, I've seen the Clippers, uh, you know, I've seen the Clippers just, you know, I've seen the Clippers like New York, they 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 took them under. And uh, Houston, they took them under, you know. Uh, it was 116 to 193 against New York, and then it was 99 to uh, uh, 80, 98 uh, versus Houston. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the under <laughs> and has been it's four and one in their last five games. So I don't know. I don't know, man. One thing I will say is uh, Curry. Uh, Curry. You know, Curry. You know, he's had some. Really good games against these guys. You know what I'm saying? He's had some really good games against these guys. So, uh, you know, he's been banging out that three ball. And, uh, you know, let me see. He had eight threes the last time these two teams played. And Curry had, hmm, let me see. Let me see. November 28th, Curry had seven threes. And let me see the first game that they played versus each other this year. Um, Coming out party. Mm. Curry had eight threes that game. So, shit. He been firing their ass up. You know what I'm saying? Slightly lean towards Golden State. And I'm going to have some interest in that uh Curry three point prop, man. You know, I guess, man. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. <sighs> that just about sums it up, though, man. Uh, be safe out there, guys. Peace out. I'm out.